Hello everyone, it's Sarah here from Campus Rec. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Jump Rope Tabata workout. We're gonna go through four different circuits. So the way we do that is exercise A, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, followed by exercise B, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, rest. Then we put together for four different circuits and then we repeat that four times. So listen to your body, take rest where you need to and let's just have some fun. our single foot hops we have five hops each foot so driving that opposite knee up towards our chest soft landing with the foot inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth add some speed add some strength here you got it great work we got three two one Starting with your feet shoulder width apart and soft bend in those knees. We're going to drive through the heels, hands behind the head into a good morning. So sit those hips back as if there's a chair behind you. Standing up tall on that exhale and then lower down into a squat. Great work. Keep it up. Back into our single foot hops. Again, add some speed and add some power here as we move along. Five hops each foot and drive that opposite knee up towards your chest. Focus on embracing and contracting your core, driving that belly button in towards spine. Keep up the work. You got it. Back into our good mornings and squats. Keeping that soft bend in the knee in the good morning, feeling that stretch, that pull through the hamstrings, the back of your upper leg. And then in that squat, driving your knees out and really engaging the glutes, squeezing your butt at the top. Great work. to round three of four. You got this. Single foot hops. Soft landing on the ground as quietly as you can. Keep on breathing and keep on working. We're halfway there. Yes, there you go. Come on, you are so much stronger than you believe. Keep it going. Don't give up. Focusing on slowing down those good mornings and squats here. Increasing the time under tension nice and slow as you lower that upper body down towards the floor, shoulders back, core embrace. And then sitting low, driving those hips back in that squat. Great work, I see you doing it. round of circuit one single foot hops alternating those feet keep it moving keep it going just listen to your body as you work it shoulders back head and chest tall do not allow your fatigue to increase or decrease that posture keep it going for two one exercise of circuit one. We got those good mornings to squat slow and controlled. Focus on every breath, every breath here today. Driving through those heels, wiggling the toes. Yes, remember why you showed up. What is your why? You got it. round of circuit two we're going into that basic jump keep shoulder width apart and soft bouncing off that floor as quietly as we can adding speed and adding strength here great work we have seven seconds right here right now let's start it off strong in three two one Moving into 
to our first inchworm variation. We're going to walk those hands down into plank. You want to drive a knee in towards chest as close as you can. Bring it back into plank and then jump out into a plank jack, those feet wide, and then back to center. We walk it up tall. Come on, we got two. One. Round two, circuit two, right into our basic jump. Rolling those shoulders back and engaging that core, belly button towards spine. Let's jump it out here. This is our most simple jump, so add some speed and add some power as we move along. Great work. Keep up that strength, that power. Back into that inchworm. Planting your full hands, that full palm on the floor as we walk it back into plank in that inchworm. Once we're in that plank, drive that knee into chest as close as you can while keeping your butt down and your core tight, belly button towards spine. Keep it up. Woo, keep it going. We are halfway through circuit two, on to round three. Seat shoulder with me or just jump in and out. Find a rhythm, find a pattern, and stick for it for the last 10 seconds here. Great work. I am so impressed. Come on. Back into that inchworm. If it feels right here today and you do not want to jump at all, in that plank jack, feel free to step the feet out wide and step them back to center, skipping that higher impact activity. Keep it going and find that rhythm and stick with it. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Here we go team, last round of circuit two. Last time you will see either of these exercises. Keep those basic jumps coming. You are halfway there, 10 seconds left. What do you have? What is your why? And why did you show up here today? We got three, two, one. Here it is, the final exercise of circuit two. Walk those hands out into our plank from inchworm. Knee to chest, and then plank jack. Walk it back tall, roll those shoulders back and breathe through it. You have come here to work and you are doing just that. Keep it going. Moving right in to circuit three of four, we got our skip jump, driving that knee up towards the chest and then switching out, alternating feet with every step. We are halfway through it. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Speed it up here, keep working, keep challenging yourself. Starting with those feet out wider than shoulder width, we squat down into a squat, driving through the heels, and then rotate our body into our side lunge. Driving all of your weight off that front foot in that one. The opposite knee hovering right over the floor. Great work. We got three, two, one. Round two, circuit three. Right back in to those skip jumps. Challenge yourself to drive that knee a little higher with every single step, every single rep. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Yes, I see you working. Keep it going. Come on. Back 
back in to that squat to lunge, squatting it down low, still driving those hips to the ground as if there is a chair behind you. In that lunge, make sure both feet are in line and our hips are square. Great work, keep on moving with that rhythm. Halfway through it, on to round three, circuit three, into our skip jumps. There it is, soft landing, driving that knee tall. Get uncomfortable here today, add some speed, that is where you are gonna grow, where you challenge yourself. Slow it down here for that lunge to squat. Really sitting it deep in both exercises. That back knee hovering over the floor in the lunge and those glutes driving down to the ground in that squat. Squeezing your butt, your glutes at the top. Let's get it. Come on, we got two, one. Final round of it, final round of circuit three. We got those skip jumps, speed it up. Find that inner athlete, that inner warrior. Find it within yourself to push a little harder, a little stronger, right here, right now. There it is. Final exercise, circuit three. You're almost there, team. Squat to lunge, alternating between and slowing it down. We are halfway through it, 10 seconds left. Keep that head and chest up tall and those shoulders back. Just breathe through it and focus on control. Final circuit of the day, we are on round one, jumping jack hops. So we're starting with those feet out wide and jumping in to center. Two little hops each way, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Great work, you're looking awesome. There it is. Into our crunch variation, plant that left foot, that left heel on the floor. We're gonna drive up with the right knee. Arms coming overhead and squeezing that knee to the chest, and then hands behind head, elbow to knee. Focusing on that oblique, focusing on adding some cardio here. Great work. Right in to round two, right in to these jumping jack hops. Feet wide to narrow. Again, find a rhythm and find control as we add some more speed and power as we move along. Each step should be a little more difficult. Keep pushing it, keep breathing. This time, planting that right heel on the ground, we are gonna crunch with the left knee. Hands overhead, knee to chest, and then rotate down into that oblique crunch across the body. Woo! We are looking good, we are feeling good, and we got this. are halfway there. We got wide to narrow in those jumping jack hops. Keeping that core tight, let's speed it up here. Let's remember why we showed up. Let's remember that reason we woke out of bed today, planted our feet on the floor. You got it.
into that crunch variation, plant that left heel on the ground. This is the last time with that right knee crunching. Woo! Look at us, we're having fun. Come on, keep that cardio going. Keep that knee driving. Speed it up or slow it down. Whatever feels right, just keep moving. That's two, one. We're in our final minute of work here. Final round of our final circuit. Right in into those jumping jack hops. Make it count. Ask yourself if you're holding anything back here right now. If you are, speed it up. And if you're not, ask yourself why. Let's go. Last exercise of the day. Into that crunch variation, drive that right heel on the ground, that left knee is crunching. Hands behind head, drive that elbow to knee. Both meeting at the center. We got five seconds, come on. Three, two, rest. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Tapata style jump rope workout. Again, we had four different circuits. You do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest with exercise A and exercise B brought together four rounds. Just listen to your body and take rest where necessary. If you do complete this workout, please tag us at NU Campus Rec on Instagram. We'd love to see everything you're doing and how you found us. Have a great one and I hope to see you soon.